Yo guys, what's going on? Today it's your boy Kavi. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some crazy vintage R&B samples. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with your own vocals. This loop was made using my new Confessions Volume 2 Analog Lab Bank, which includes 46 crazy presets for Analog Lab 5, 24 loops inspired by Drake, Future, Summer Walker, Meek Mill, Gunna, Bryson Tiller, and more. And this kit also comes with 79 one shots recorded through my Profit hardware synth. Before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to show y'all a couple of my favorite presets from this bank. So let's get right into it. All right, probably my favorite R&B sound in this bank is the keys, keep in touch. And this is what it sounds like with just a simple MIDI. Another dope R&B sound is this Finding Peace pad. Another dope sound are these drunk texting keys. And we've also got some crazy trap sounds as well. Probably my favorite pluck is this bird's pluck. And this is what that sounds like, just a simple dark midi. The money bags pluck is also pretty hard. And I also found for these dark kind of synth melodies, this six side lead sounds super dope. If you're interested in this kit, use my code KXVI30 on loopstash.com. It'll give you 30% off. You won't regret buying this one. I use it in a bunch of my samples. It's got a bunch of go-to sounds. And as always, before we get into this, you can download the loop from this video in the description down below for free. But yeah, let's get right into it. This is what the finished loop sounds like. As you can hear, it's just some super simple, but nice and vibey R&B stuff. I could definitely see something like Summer Walker on this. First thing I started with in this loop was this pad industrial two preset from my Confessions volume two bank. And I drew in this MIDI right here. This is what it sounds like. So these are actually pretty simple chords, but I'll break down the theory a little bit for you. So right here, this is a major seventh chord to start with. And then what I did is I just went down one and I made a minor seventh chord, but I raised this up and that makes a little diminished chord right here. And you can tell it's a R&B kind of out of key chord when it's got two spaces in between each one. This one has three. I'm not really sure why it sounds good, but it does. I pretty much just built off of these two chords and then transposed notes up and down and experimented with it. You don't really need to know music theory. You just need to find the patterns that work for the kind of genre that you're creating. So after that, I recorded this vocal on top. Well, ain't that just what you mean? 
So for this vocal, what I did was pitched it up an octave and I ran it through some auto tune just to make sure that everything was in key. Then for the effects on it, once I had everything in time and in key, put this decimal two right here and I put this RC20 magnitude transition one. And this is what it sounds like after that. And I found that whenever you're using your own vocals, if you cut out the top end, especially with decimal and add reverb, it really helps kind of hide the imperfections, not hitting notes, stuff like that. But after I had that, I went in and I bounced that to audio. I made a section where I reversed the vocal and I put another decimal on it, cut it even lower just to make it sound more filtered for this section. And this is what that part of the vocal sounds like. So it sounds super weird on its own, but you got to think of it as kind of more of an accent texture sound more than an act like a, a full melody. The next thing that I did is I just copied the chords and I opened this Spitfire Labs soft piano right here. This is what that sounds like. So it sounded super dope already. I just pitched that down to match the key of the sample. The next thing that I did is just add this little perk loop. And then I layered it with a second perk loop. Perk loops are essential for these kind of trap soul melodies because they really just add that vintage feeling and give the sample a nice bounce. For effects on these, I just threw decimal to cut out the highs and then I also did a little EQ to cut out the lows just to make it kind of like a telephone effect so it's not really taking away any space for someone to add drums, it's just adding a texture. For the next part, I went back into my analog lab bank and I grabbed this bass cooking preset. After that, the melody was pretty much finished, but I wanted to add some accents and texture sounds to just kind of bring it to that next level. So I went into the one shot kit from Confessions Volume 2 and I grabbed this Space Toy Run. I pitched it to the correct pitch for this sample. This is what it sounds like with the piano. So it sounds super dope. It just kind of gives it a nice sprinkly vibe. For the second run that I added, I used this Shallow Souls one shot. And this is what that sounds like. So it's just a nice little synth run to kind of fill in some space. And the last accent that I added was this UFO accent. And this is what this sounds like. For effects on all these, I pretty much just did the same thing. Some decimal to take out the high end, so it's all staying filtered, leaving room for the artist. And then again, just taking out some of the low end as well. And for the finishing touch, you know I had to add the chimes, so right there. You can get some good chimes on Splice or anything like that. For effects on the master, I added this phaser from Logic. And then I grabbed this preamp from Arturia, the Pre-76, and I just boosted it up a couple decibels. So it's it's a subtle change, but it makes it louder, brighter, and then the phaser just kind of gives it that R&B feeling that we wanted to have. All right, I appreciate y'all making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to download this loop for free in the description down below. And also comment down below what tutorial you want to see next. I'll be reading the comments, see if anyone has some good ideas. But yeah, that's it for this one. Peace.